For several years now, the people of the Clifton Estate Nottingham have been worshipping in a temporary parish church. But this makeshift period is over. Now they have a fine new church built with their own hands. The four-year-old Jane Webster looks up at it. She was three months old when the foundations were laid. An enthusiastic committee of volunteers, led by the curate, the Reverend Stephen Verney, organised this unusual work. Voluntary and unpaid, but skilled. For example, Mr Henry Branson is a stonemason by trade, and all the committee, except the curate, are professional craftsmen. Since that foundation ceremony four years ago, which was happily marked by several open-air christenings, the congregation, men, women and children, have worked steadily under the committee's guidance. Now their church of St Francis is finished. A house of God built by the people who will worship in it. A credit to the Reverend Verney and his devoted fellow workers. A strikingly painted ceiling lends richness to the interior. All is ready for the consecration of the new building, which is to be carried out by the Bishop of Southwell. From the old temporary church, where the last service has been held, the chalice is carried to its new home. Walking in procession with the parishioners is the Bishop, who asks God's blessing on a parish church, which is truly a labour of love. <laughs>